First up, we have Persona 5 Strikers. This game is a slick and stylish spin-off that brilliantly combines a strong narrative with some satisfying Musou-inspired hack-and-slash action. Sure, you might encounter a bit of grinding, and the camera can be a pain during intense battles, but don't let that deter you. The action RPG elements and overall entertainment value make this one a must-play for any fan. Next on the list is Ultra Age. This indie title offers fast-paced combat and a handful of unique mechanics that make every battle interesting. The voice acting might be a bit off, and you'll notice the graphics aren't as sharp, but for a budget game, it delivers surprisingly well. If you're a fan of Devil May Cry style action, this one's worth a glance. Bayonetta 3 is a crowd favorite. Platinum Games has really outdone themselves here, cranking up the chaos and improving combat like never before. Impressive visuals and non-stop action paired with a highly replayable campaign make this a standout entry in the series. It's definitely an action-packed joyride you won't want to miss. Fire Emblem Warriors 3. Hopes mixes Musu mayhem, strategy, and relationship building. It improves in numerous ways over its predecessor, especially with a more engaging story. With solid performance on Switch and an action-packed campaign, this game will keep you engaged for hours on end. Where do these powers come from? Power itself is neutral. The good or evil comes from the one who wields it. One day that sword might overtake me, and I'll turn into a monster. Not so fast, you two. Astral Chain showcases Platinum Games at their very best. Amazing visuals, fantastic presentation, and deep combat make it a standout hit. For those intimidated by its complexity, the co-op mode and Unchained feature make it accessible for everyone. This game is not just a Switch exclusive gem, but one of the best from 2019. It's a long shot, but it's the only shot we have. It's all up to you, my friend. A blessing from the Legion. Or maybe I should say, a curse. We can't turn back now. I've gotta know the whole truth. He's still alive out there. I know he is. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is another Musu gem, filled with varied and satisfying combat set in the Hyrule universe. While it's not a main Zelda game, its intricacies are impressive. Performance might dip during co-op play, but it doesn't detract much from the overall fun, making it a game you need to experience.
God Eater 3 might take a visual hit, but it's a worthy trade-off for consistent performance and frame rate. The local co-op is a fantastic addition, enhancing the overall experience. With all content updates included, it's a robust package, offering a great alternative for Monster Hunter fans. Dead Cells is a masterclass in excellent roguelike design, mixing together non-stop intense action sequences, gorgeous vistas, and an addictive loop of unlocks and rewards into a beautiful experience that no Switch owner will want to go without. There's dozens, if not hundreds, of hours of content available here, and though some sense of repetition can creep in every now and then, it's remarkable how fresh Dead Cells can stay through all those hours. Devil May Cry 3 remains a timeless classic. Even today, its turbocharged, combo-heavy action stands out. The new freestyle mode and local co-op in Bloody Palace make the Switch port exceptional. If you're new to the series or feeling nostalgic, this one's a no-brainer. No More Heroes. 3 continues the series tradition of high-energy, chaotic combat. While it has some faults, it's still a fan favorite. The story and gameplay are cool, though maybe not as impactful as its predecessors. However, suda 51s storytelling keeps the excitement alive. It's stacked with some real weirdos. They got all kinds of moves and attacks and whatnot. It's a rough lineup. But anyway, put simply, I'm gonna crush every one of these dudes, shoot for the top once again, and take that loser prince down. One last thing, the release date's finally been set. Sorry for the wait, you guys. Hades blends gritty, flexible combat with a vibrant art style and an engaging narrative. It's super giant games at their finest. Even if roguelikes aren't your thing, we urge you to give Hades a try. For fans of the genre, it's a heavenly vision of hell you'll love. Let's have a bat's eye view. Night to give me strength. Diablo 3. Eternal Collection is a solid port of a classic RPG. Despite its repetitive gameplay, the execution is near perfect, with top-notch performance. If you love loot-driven adventures filled with explosive action, Diablo 3 is for you. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. The Black Order offers a fun, brawler experience with a vast roster of comic characters. It stays true to its predecessors, emphasizing brainless fun over groundbreaking innovations. Best enjoyed with friends, it's a must for Marvel fans. This alliance you've built is quite inspiring. Come a long way, Jester. 
Nyar Automata is a modern classic, and the Switch port does it justice. Both visuals and performance are impressive, making it an unforgettable experience. The story and gameplay are intricate and surprising, solidifying its place as one of the finest games of the last decade. You just die already! Tubi, it was an honor to fight with you, truly. Titan Quest may have some quirks and visual glitches, but its core loop of battling and looting remains compelling. Handheld mode is a huge plus, and for those with a sense of nostalgia, this Switch port is well worth a look. That's all for today's top hack and slash games on the Nintendo Switch. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell for more gaming content.